and welcome to Gregory Gazette News with me, Adam, me, Hope, and me, Sean. Tonight, we have a new special for you as we endeavour to uncover what is being described as a plastic plague sweeping across our oceans and beaches. This plastic epidemic is thought to be one of the deadliest in history, stretching right across our world from land to ocean. People all over the world are now putting plastic in our oceans, which is having a physical impact on our waters, whether it's companies littering or everyday people. The plastic problem is now becoming a major issue of our convenience, terrorising some of the most remote and beautiful places on our earth. Tim Nunn, a 41-year-old surf photographer from the UK, has travelled all over the world for the past 10 years, going in different seas and oceans. Everywhere he is going, plastic is the problem. This horrific habit of polluting plastic is happening every day, and it's our fault. This plastic problem is causing our natural resources to change, destroying animals' habitats, and even bringing death to some creatures. During Tim Nunn's 10 years of being a surf photographer, he has seen a rapid change in the amount of rubbish in our oceans. Some beaches are so remote that they haven't been cleaned in years. Recently, there has been a slight change in the action and some people are starting to hear the message and helping to clean our beaches. One Norwegian, Jonas, Invited Tim to the Western Islands, Norway. The area covers 1,227 square kilometres with a population of just 24,500. Accepting Janice's invitation, Tim took a team. The beaches of Lofoten are covered in plastic that has been deposited by the North Atlantic seas onto the beautiful sandy beaches. Everywhere Tim stepped, there was rubbish from coke bottles and their lids to Superman Pez. Superman should be a hero to our world, not be our kryptonite. No matter how much rubbish Tim and his team picked up, the rubbish would always come back. We are not the ones who suffer most, nature is, but it's not, it, it is not too late uh, to change. If we can recycle more and help our environment, the earth will be a cleaner and safer place again. Thanks for that. It is starting to hear all the facts and figures, isn't it? Now, here with more, live from Lydia, our investigative reporters. When did people notice a major change? Over many decades, everyone has been polluting our air. It is now getting to the point where immaculate sands are turning into just microplastics. How is it affecting not just animals, but ourselves? It is affecting our animals by killing them. They are mistaken. When they go hunting, they are mistaken. Fish or squid for plastic. Aren't they also? Aren't they also? Get, isn't the plastic also getting in into us as well? Because it get, can get in our water source, and we can drink it and and really damage ourselves. Yes, it will. Who's the blame? Me, you, everyone. On a daily basis, almost everyone throws away their rubbish and doesn't recycle it. Um, are the people around you making a difference? Some, some people around our area are making a big difference by recycling and doing a two minute beach clean. Others aren't aware. Are we helping as much as we could? Individuals can help, but it will keep coming back. Society needs to do something. Nowadays, the most polluted, unfrequented beaches are the ones being polluted by us. The minority of people are helping, and the majority of people simply don't care or are unaware. Will this disastrous nightmare wake everybody up, or will it, they carry on their, with their catastrophic actions? Pollution, plastic, rubbish, they should not be floating in our water, should not be breaking down into microplastic, and destroying our water and food. Each of us must help. Do you want our world to be a safe, enjoyable paradise or continue on its path to self-destruction? You, you decide. decide.